hi, I'm a lesbian, or at least I think I'm a lesbian. Yes, but I'm the biggest. Let's be wrong. This is just to prove. Why be? Why be? I'm gonna come on here and have a good time. Oh, yeah. Oh, they saw my tum tum. The moon landing didn't happen. Oh, the moon landing? That didn't happen. I promise it didn't. I would bet like all of my money. Oh, sorry, I farted. I know the things you've done in prison. You've told me. I know what you've done. So you want to call me worse than someone inside of prison? I need you to take a look in the mirror. I need you to take a look in the mirror. I'm a skinny legend. I have to tell you guys. Hey, Gauls, how you doing? Amberlin is back with another live stream and it keeps getting worse. And I also want to say that I am proud of you Gauls for being objective and seeing Erica and her wife for who they are. Stop edging me, someone said. I. Are you drunk? No, no. It's more like a tipsy type of era slash um, I'm losing my mind maybe a little bit slash all of that. You know, Ozempic. I'm not on it anymore type deal type, but it's like I will retry it. Like, let's retry it. Who cares? You know, screw the haters, live your life. I'm about to. I'm about to. All right. So I um, I'm in love type deal. I really am. I'm still, <laughs> okay. I am with Tommy still not like physically, which is unfortunate because trust, I would love that. But, um, we are still together. Like was trying really hard to like protect her obviously. And just like protect us. And I feel like that's people could say I'm always in love. It's fine. Like I just, I love love and I'm not gonna lie to you. Like we were, we were going to break up without a doubt that was going to happen. Um, but it's like, we genuinely make each other happy um so it's like why break up when you're when you genuinely like love someone and i don't want to hear her ever say she doesn't understand why people hate her she came here and made a whole big deal about how we ruined her life and all along she was lying and she was still with that feeder the haters just want you miserable do what makes you happy you grown woman yes i fully am in support of that i'm gonna do what i want i genuinely want to do what i want and i promise i'm not like in danger that's not a thing you guys know that like i have been trying to lose weight and i actually have been like I weighed my lowest that I've weighed in like eight years. 467, folks. You are delusional and we want you to do whatever you want because it is going to be entertaining as hell. She went on some appetite because of Rika. Erica is a gym rat and once they broke up, suddenly it stopped working. And now that she is with a feeder, she is back to her normal routine, which is gaining weight. Which rumors are not true. Tommy is not a feeder at all. And I got permission to share like why certain photos were online. Just buckle up, Gauls. What she is about to say is the stupidest lie ever told, and she full heartedly believes it, lol. So, when Tommy was with her late fiance, they were long distance and they wanted to see each other more often. And to do so, they found a way to like make money. It was just a way for them to make money. It wasn't something they did in their like alone time, like if that makes sense. Um, Even if we believe this, I don't know why she still thinks it's better. Pimping your obese girlfriend out to the point of death just for money is even worse than being just a feeder. I didn't lie. Like, we genuinely were going to break up. Like, that was, like, the truth. Um, it felt really heavy and scary for the both of us. You were going to break up. You were crying saying she doesn't want you anymore and how her life was ruined. Everything is a lie because she was talking to Tommy the whole time she was doing this live. They were cracking jokes like nothing happened. For people to be saying that Tommy is a person that, like, she's literally not that person. She's one of the greatest people I've ever known. And I will stand by that. Like, I genuinely have never felt so, like, loved and comfortable with someone ever. And I have never felt so, like, seen by somebody. And it just feels really good. Um, <clears throat> For so long, I felt like I was with people who were, like, ashamed of me and, like, hiding me. And it did not feel good at all. It's exhausting, Gaul. You literally say this about everyone. Attention whore Erica was the best thing ever until she wasn't. And now the disgusting Tommy the feeder is next. That is literally the energy that me and Tommy have when we're together. Like just constantly smiling and it's just everything. It's just literally everything. I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. I was expecting to come on here to hear the truth, but you failed. This is the truth. And I knew like people weren't going to like believe me, which is so hectic because what is there to lie about? Like I am, what is there to lie about at this point? Like, no, you are lying about her being a feeder. You can just say you don't care. And we would love that for you. The first time Tommy ever messaged me was June 18th. Literally so recent. I knew. Um, and I literally have proof of that. Like we met on the good old TikTok. Um, she messaged me and it's freaking crazy because I don't reply to many TikTok messages. Like that's not something I do. Um, are you sure you're being love bombed? Correct. I, I know what that means. And that is not that. A love bomber is Erica. 
Just saying. I don't mean to like throw shade, but let's be so fucking for real right now. But you didn't know that at the time, so why are you acting so sure, Lowell? Now that we know Tommy would do anything for that money, her being with Amberlynn makes sense. Can she prove the posts were for money only? Yeah, like she has proved that to me. Trust me, you guys, I would never be with someone who wanted me to get bigger. If you guys have watched my YouTube long enough, then you fucking know that. You guys know that I have struggled with my weight on the constant. And I'm finally on a path where I'm losing weight. Like she has been in my life since June 18th and I've lost weight. Lil, the proof was Tommy telling her she is not a feeder. I don't believe there is any proof. She is on the high right now and she will die on this hill. Even before I met Tommy, like I was talking to my mom about quitting semaglutide because it wasn't working. I had literally doubled the dose like I was supposed to and it was not working for me. And then I met Tommy. We started talking. She even told me, just keep going. Sometimes you have times where it just doesn't work. You can't stick to anything. It's all it is. Exactly. It's fucking exactly. It's literally me, folks. Like, you guys know that. You guys know that it's literally me. It's always been me. Like, and now all of a sudden you're going to blame someone else. It's just like, no, blame me. Go what? So you quiet because it wasn't working or it is just your fault. This Tommy season is going to be good because she is trying too hard to make her seem like a good person. Am I leaving YouTube? <clears throat> I think if people stop being so hectic, I will stay. And it's, I just need like a little bit of like calm to my nervous system. Bitch, please. You ain't going nowhere. Why are people so mean to you? It makes me sad. Because I'm fat. <laughs> it's just easy to be like mean to a fat person. Bitch, please. Being fat is the least of your concerns. We don't hate you. We love you for being a mess and being our guilty pleasure entertainment. I need to get them done for real, for real. Like, that is so true. I'm trying to think if I want to get like fake nails to go around. Like, have them long. <laughs> Type real type stitch. Um, Fingerlin is real. You can ask Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we have the same birthday and a chihuahua and two cats. Hey, twin. I'm only one third of you, though. Oh. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have long fake nails because, you know, you just have to be kind of careful. This is what I meant. She was making sexual jokes with Tommy the whole stream, but we ruined their mental health and their lives. This Tommy the feeder is a good one. Um, when's the last time I had orange chicken? I actually had it today. <laughs> I'm not even lying. I had the Panda Express. I've had phone sex with a few with a few people. I'm not gonna lie. In the last year, I've had phone sex with a few people. Why am I saying this right now? <laughs> but I've only had real sex with one. What is that? One. This is one. This stands for one, folks. Um, when are you making your Phoebe girly pop? I don't know what that means. Wait, that sounds familiar. Oh! No. You guys, stop. What the hell? Anal Lynn. That's one thing that don't exist. Um, no. I don't know. Brittany's supposed to make like a like a video type deal. And it's like, I feel bad for her type deal because like I hurt her too in this whole situation. And but it's also at the same time, it's like, why are you allowing Erica to talk bad shit about my ex? Like, it's not okay. In my humble opinion. Um, Unless they reveal some shocking information, I won't give those two psychos any more attention. Do you have a dildo? <laughs> no, I don't, but I have like a vibrator that I use. <laughs> Does someone just say, is your pussy nice? I can't. That's not, that's not okay, folks. I mean, ask whatever you want, but it identifies as a cave. You know, my butt is a tunnel. <laughs> I'm actually, okay, I need to stop drinking. I don't have a labia. It's fucking wild off the chain. And you know... It's just a perfect seat. In my humble opinion. <laughs> no! Gall, you are doing too much. It's embarrassing. It's just a little one if I have one. It's just a little baby. Wait, right? Because you, I mean, you were there. <laughs> Is it like common? It's like common dainty though. It's not one of them ones that they hang out. Someone called me Big Cherry. Big? Are you calling me Big? Mm -mm. What is Mistress Lynn? Oh, I was very much the other woman. And I... How does one message someone to troll and then fall in love? We need, oh, we're, we're, we're contacting Netflix. We're about to do a movie. We're about to become millionaires because that's a movie. That's a good movie. I'd watch it. I'm going to message this fucking fat girl and I'm going to troll. I'm going to find out the tea and then falls in love that I manipulated her. How do you manipulate someone who tried to manipulate you? Brittany isn't the victim. She started it. Hello. You know, I also see that theory. I do. Not me theorizing over something I went through. I do see that, but like, I also... It's also my fault as well, because like I did figure out that they were like in a real marriage like a month and a half before I ac we actually broke up. This whole Erica situation is a mess. Everyone involved is crazy. Show your legs. Why do people want to see my legs? Can we actually have a genuine conversation? Watch Six Hundred Pound Life and minus, minus, minus like the, 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 I don't know what's going on, but I ain't got that. How though? I don't want you guys to see my legs. You guys don't get to see my tree trunks. Not yet. The plane wouldn't go down. Y'all are hectic. Like the fat jokes though. Now I'm scared. Would the plane go down if I'm on it? No. I'm simply two fat people. I'm simply two overweight people put together. We're going to be fine. Just, you guys, literally, I'm an, I'm 33. 
Just let me live my life. Like literally that's all I'm requesting. And you guys get to watch it. Just be entertained by it. Like just watch me live my life. Like I agree. Let's just hate from a distance. Stop trying to interfere and even troll like stupid Erica. Let's see bed bound era again. Then her other attention-seeking friend Alexis started publicly exposing Tommy, and she said she is not friends with Amberlynn again. She She went to a reaction channel to say why she did this. And it is crazy galls. This bitch was acting like a jealous girlfriend. She was saying how Amberlynn puts Tommy over her, and how she would travel to her state for Tommy, but not for Alexis.